Hey Aquarius, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading for March, okay? We're gonna see what's going on with you guys in love. If this is your reading, Aquarius, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're aware when I upload these readings, you don't wanna miss out. I'm available for personal as well. If you're interested, all the details are in the description box. You can go to my Etsy shop. I have my readings there, my tarot, oracle deck, spiritual jewelry, all that cheat sheets. Oh, hi. And your bonus extended is up on Vimeo. All right, so let's jump right in, Aquarius. Let's see what messages pop out for you guys. One more last shuffle for Aquarius. Okay. What is the challenge for Aquarius? What is the challenge for Aquarius out there? Ooh. Two, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Six of Cups. Six of Cups came out in reverse okay so there could be someone on your mind someone you're heavily thinking about reminiscing thinking of the past there's some good times but there's also some not so good times right so some unpleasant memories of the past negative recollections of the past with this person aquarius okay so as lena believe that you really care for them i'm getting some soulmate vibes here for sure However, it's like you and this person may have ended on a bad note, and that's the challenge, you know, moving past that. You may be really thinking about this person nonstop, but, you know, there's some hurt, there's some sadness with that Six of Cups in reverse. In the past, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Page of Wands in reverse with the Three of Pentacles. So in the past, Aquarius, it looks like there's someone here that you really wanted to get on the same page with. I feel like maybe there was a lot of differences that have been highlighted. Um, I feel like there's an energy of let's make this work. Let's build. Like how, how do I, how do we do this, right? How do we come together, okay? There was an the energy of wanting to collaborate, wanting to understand each other so you guys can build, right? Spend more time building and loving each other instead of fighting, so I also see that there was all oh, just divisions in general, right? With the Page of Wands and Verse, is leading to believe that someone was putting in very little effort. I feel like while there was a desire to move forward and build upon this, I'm getting the energy of someone here just working against this connection in some way, okay? Um, not showing up not trying hard enough. I'm getting like lackluster energy, right? And so I feel like there definitely was some issues regarding committing. Okay, maybe someone wasn't ready to commit with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Now the current energy Aquarius, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. We have the Chariot in reverse with the Knight of Wands. So it could be dealing with a Cancer, a Leo, a Sag, and Aries. It looks like things right now in the energy does not look like it's going in the way that you envision or the way that you want it to, okay? There's something here where there's like no real movement. There's no progress. There's something here where you feel like, why, why are we still dealing with this? Why are we still, you know, why are we going in circles, right? Because the Wheel of Fortune versus like something has not worked out to really propel this forward okay there's something here where it's like it's there's a lot of working against each other and therefore something has not been victorious right chariot in reverse you've not been able to reach that goal that milestone there's some kind of outcome you want and you haven't been able to get it okay so i see a lot of resistance and working against each other but i also see this knight of wands so whoever this person is aquarius um, is Lena believe that someone does want to move away from this energy someone is trying to show up Okay, trying to show out, trying to do things a little differently. I'm seeing this uh, energy of someone very, very immature at times. Okay, they may come in and out of your life, but there is the energy of I want to make it known that I do care. Okay, so with this Knight of Wands, someone could be coming up with a plan or strategy on how to move things forward. Give me the energy of the outcome, the world in reverse the hermit virgo energy and the six of pentacles now if something has not been working out there's a reason okay because the world in reverse is indicating there could be some cycles here there could be faded events something had to happen this way whether you are you know accepting that or not aquarius there's something here that is gonna feel like it's still not happening the way it should there's still some resistance and it's like out of your control right the world in verse is when like the universe is in control like no matter what you do something just does not work for you and it's going to cause you and this person aquarius to now take a break the harm it could be contemplation it could be isolation doing some deep reflection it could be spending a lot of time by yourself where you're not really together 
And that could be a really good thing because what the break is allowing you guys to do is to come back together and give in a reciprocated manner, right? The Six of Pentacles, there's a need for rebalance. There's a need for adjustments to be made where things are going to be balanced, reciprocated, right? Fair, equal, right? There's equal give and take amongst you and this person. So I feel like Aquarius, if there is some kind of delays and stuck energy, right, where you're going to be spending time alone, you're not hearing from this person, they're kind of like wanting to be by themselves, it's okay. Because it looks like that's going to actually help in the long run, okay, in bringing balance and restoring harmony to this connection. Aquarius, on your mind is a Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and a death in reverse. On your mind is the idea that something has fallen apart, right? Ten of Pentacles in reverse, marriage, a commitment, a relationship. There's something you were really building and hoping on that something would be very stable. And, you know, this would be someone that you're going to have in your life that you can grow with and build with. But with the death card, it's giving me indication that something has come to an end. It may have happened very, very suddenly, unexpected. But there's also the energy of a new beginning, right? After an ending, can we have this resurrection? Can we have this rebirth? Are we going to do it again? And that's something that's heavily on your mind. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. And that's what the Six of Cups is about as well, right? The challenge is, are we going to reconcile? Are we going to come together? Are we going to make this work, right? Do we still both believe in this connection? Give me the energy of what's in the foundation. Of course, you may not be um, seeing this or aware of this. We have the five of cups. So what you're not aware is that there is someone here who is very, very in their feelings, okay? Feeling really bad for what they did, how they showed out, how they behaved, what they said. There's a lot of regrets, a lot of remorse, a lot of disappointment, now, we also have the Knight of Swords. So, Aquarius, this could be your energy, right? Someone is very much thinking of you, you're on their mind very heavily. But it also could be the energy of someone wanting to speak their truth. I got something to say. I want you to hear me out. The Nine of Wands. I don't want to give up on this, right? I want to keep fighting for this. The Nine of Wands. I want to persevere. I believe in this. It's been difficult, yes, for me too, but I want to still give this, okay, a shot. That's what the Nine of Wands about. It's that wounded warrior. Yeah, I'm wounded. Yeah, I, you know, we've gone through the trenches. There's been challenges, but I'm not giving up when things get tough. All right, so Chris, let's jump right in. Let's get some more messages for you guys. If this is your reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to use the Cartoon Tarot today. This is one of my decks on my Etsy shop. If you're interested, check it out. And um, your bonus extended reading is up on Vimeo. So why is the Six of Cups? You guys are thinking about each other very heavily, but there's some negative thinking too, right? But thinking about a reconciliation, Six of Cups, again, thinking about how can we come together? How do we make this work? I care for you. You still have my heart three of swords and i'm heartbroken i'm heartbroken about this separation i can't believe we are here where we are right now um devastation you guys are both very heavily affected by this breakup it's not what you want and you're thinking about how can we repair this how do we glue this back together how do we get back and go in the right direction so you both really really care about each other still it's very clear here and the challenge is to overcome some kind of devastating hurtful event so that you guys can reconcile Give me the energy of the past. Why is the three of pentacles here? Five of cups in reverse and the queen of swords. So there's your energy, Aquarius, right? Your queen of swords energy. I think that you guys really saw, um, you, you got clarity. You were in this queen of swords energy, which means that you were no BS, right? You are um, really trying to step into that energy of being honest with yourself, right? And, this, and we have this energy of the five of cups. So yeah, there is an energy of something not happening in the past. The way you want it but i also see you trying to move past it because you know the right thing to do um is to let go of something that just is not working for you right now and that's what the queen of swords does it cuts out things right here she cuts out things that do not serve purpose cuts out things that do not help the current situation so instead of harping on the past right what should have happened, what could have happened, five of cups, you hurt me, you disappointed me. And, you know, instead of harping on the past, it's like, I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to work in the current energy, which is in the past, to build this connection, right? To work out our differences. So I really feel like you were the reason why um, something here could still have potential because, or have potential to build upon. Because I think Aquarius, you were the one who said, you know what? I believe in us. I want to work on this. I want to get together. I want to make this happen. Three of Pentacles. We have so much potential. Why is the Page of Wands reverse? I get the sense this person was slowly like putting in effort or just not putting in enough effort. 
Ace of Pentacles toward this new opportunity, Ten of Cups. So I feel like, you know, there was a lot on the line. There was a lot on the line here. I feel like there was a new beginning, a new promise, Ace of Pentacles, something here very secure. But then the Queen of Pentacles in verse, maybe you're dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this is someone who wasn't ready for a full-blown commitment, even though they knew they were going to be happy with you. So I feel like they knew that you were their happiness, but they slowly kind of, I'm getting like... <laughs> They stop showing up. They stop investing. They stop putting effort. And it could have been because of fear. For some of you guys, it could have been fear. I'm getting intimidation. Because if you're in the Queen of Pentacles in verse, you're not stable, you're not grounded, you know, you could be afraid of making that next step, of offering this pentacle, offering commitment, right? When you're not even committed to yourself. You're not even in this place of commitment, right? Or oh, stability, rather. So I feel like in the past, this person really did love you with the Ten of Cups. And there could have been something this person did that they do regret with the Five of Cups. But I also feel like they may have felt like the timing wasn't right. I'm not ready. Even though I really do feel like if I was ready, you'd be the first person I would move forward with. Okay, that's the energy I'm seeing. So timing definitely was a factor. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Why? The High Priestess in reverse. It was something this person wasn't telling you with the Knight of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries. This person definitely had um, something else going on that they were not open about, they were not sharing, their lips were sealed, right, with this high priestess energy, it could be a Pisces, they didn't want to tell you everything, there were some things this person hid from you, I'm um, getting to something regarding their lifestyle, the way they live their life, the Knight of Wands is a very immature energy, they do things that's best for them, they're not thinking about how it's going to affect other people, and we got that Knight of Wands twice, so give me the energy of the Chariot, Something here just stopped working or was not victorious. Cancer energy, three of pentacles, and a ten of swords in verse. Now, something may have stopped working because ultimately it's like, you know, three of pentacles. There was something about the way, um, what you wanted and what this person wanted, you know, when you guys came together, it just, <laughs> it just clashed, right? There could have been major incompatibility issues. But some of you guys are even getting some kind of third party energy situation that could have caused this ending that happened very, very abruptly. Give me the energy of the Ten of Swords. Seven of Cups in verse. Yeah, there was definitely some third party energy here. Five of Pentacles. I'm getting the energy that someone just stopped showing up i feel like you didn't have this person's attention you may have felt like you were um not important to them because i'm getting the energy of you feeling left out in the cold aquarius this person could have stopped giving you attention showing up being there for you putting time energy effort into this connection and so there was a lot of confusion but i also feel like the confusion was really about you know this person choosing you they were confused about what they wanted it's like they have feelings for you, but it, it's almost like it wasn't enough for this person. And I do feel there was some kind of distraction. This person was not focused. I'm seeing the energy of other opportunities, other people around them, romantic interests. And it may have caused this person to go down a different path. Right? And so if they were giving their time and attention to other people, they left you in a place of left out in a cold. They left you, you know, they didn't give you the, the attention that you needed. Right? They left you alone. So there's something here about this person being very inconsistent, unreliable. Give me the energy of the death for your energy, Aquarius. It's, that's the energy for you. The death in the verse. Nine of Wands in the verse and the Seven of Pentacles. So it looks like there's something about you... Um, Letting go of something. Maybe initially you decided, you know what, I'm done. Nine of Wands in verse when you just completely give up, right? And it may have literally caused an ending. The Death card, the Ten of Pentacles in verse, you felt like, you know what, maybe this isn't worth it anymore. But then I also feel like this ending has allowed you to see a situation differently, Aquarius. Maybe allowed you to really think about what this person means to you. You may have had a lot of time with the Seven of Pentacles to reflect on the connection. And it looks to me with the Seven of Pentacles that now you're thinking about, well, maybe this is worth it. Maybe I should give this another shot a shot right maybe i should take my time and be patient with this person because we have a lot on the line you know we, we've spent maybe seven years together it's a lot on the line maybe not that long right <laughs> but there's the energy of we have so much for each other seven months nine months i'm even seeing it for some of you guys 10 months okay so let's see give me give me the energy of this person there's a lot of regrets disappointment a lot of sadness feelings emotions here yeah, um, the Hermit and the Eight of Cups. So this person's been doing a lot of thinking, right? 
isolation, reflecting. The hermit is going within, connecting with self, connecting with source, spirit, the divine, and getting insight, getting answers. This is what I need to do, right? There's an eye opening. There's an awakening, right? So with the Eight of Cups and Verses, lean to believe that this person, if they walked away from you, they're coming right back because there's a lot of regrets. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I heard Aquarius. So this person has not left for good. There's the energy of them doing a U-turn. I want to return back to what was, but there's the energy of also communication. Knight of Swords. What's this about? The Magician in Reverse and the Four of Swords. So this person wants to communicate, but I'm getting there's a lot of fear. Okay, it could be a Gemini. There's a lot of fear regarding communicating with you. And I think that Aquarius, certainly the Knight of Swords, you could be in the energy of like, you know what? I want truth. You don't come back unless you give me the entire truth. And that could be something that's making this person afraid. We have the Magician in verse, especially if they did something that was very deceptive or they tricked you, they manipulated you, they fooled you, right? To get what they wanted, right? The Magician in verse is when you do things, that's for your own good. Right, and you could have felt like Aquarius person really did a number on you and they really went out of the way to hurt you. So there is some stress here regarding coming back to you. The Four of Swords is like they're thinking about it, they're in conflict, they want to find out a way through some kind of conflict. They're they're doing a lot of, you know, looking for peace of mind and a strategy perhaps as to how they can come back and show you they're they're serious. Very intimidated, you know, this person is not very strong right now. They do want to work on this connection, but there is some fears here. The hangman, yeah. So they're thinking a lot of assessing, let me figure this out. Let me find a way. Let me look at it from a different perspective. Let me see it through Aquarius's lens or a pair lens. You know, let me see how Aquarius views me. So there's something here about really assessing the situation before they make a move. The Hermit, again, there's a break. There's an energy of isolation. And this could be a really good thing. Because I feel like the full universe is the energy of, of trust issues. Someone not trusting, wanting a new beginning, but not trusting of their ability to have this new beginning. There's also like distrust for each other. Right, your person may not trust you, Aquarius, at all, and so yeah, there's a new beginning on the horizon. You both want it, it's in the energy, but there's also energy of let me think about this, let me reflect, let me do some inner work, let me do some healing. The world in reverse, it may not be the right time. I don't feel like I'm in control of this situation just yet. Yeah, justice in verse. So I feel like your person's not coming back in just yet, Aquarius. There could be some delays because there's something that's not balanced yet. Right, your person may feel like if I come in right now, Aquarius is not going to give me the time of day. They they feel like I've done injustice to them. I've hurt them. I've treated them poorly. And they're not going to want to hear me out. They're not going to give me that respect. So this could be a Libra. Okay, we got Aries as well. But this is definitely someone here who's kind of like they're trying to strategically go about this um, and think about how you would respond if they were to come in. Right, because they don't want to be, <laughs> they don't want to look like a fool, right? We've got the fool in the verse. They don't want to look like a fool. So they're waiting for the right time. They know adjustments are needed. Six of Pentacles, they want to reciprocate. Ten of Pentacles, to get back to this place of stability, home, family, commitment. So their goal is to get to the Ten of Pentacles, but they also know that in order to get there, they got to do things the right way. I got to give to Aquarius. I got to invest. I got to show them that I'm serious. So Aquarius, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're aware of when I upload. You don't want to miss out, you guys. All right? Take care. And um, I just I use the cartoon tarot. For those of you guys that are interested, you can purchase this little deck um, on my Etsy shop if you're interested. All right, you guys. Bye.